This episode of Congratulations is brought to you by the Cash App. Yeah, dude, it's what's up. It's what's up. Hi, babies. Um, let's see what's going on here. Uh, on my website, I'm going to look this up here. Should have already looked it already, but I didn't. I'm live on my app right now, and it's all good. So if you want to, you can download my app, and then you can see me live for the first uh, 10 or so minutes on the, on, the, on the app for each episode. And it's buzzy in my headphones. And you know what? Yeah. So One Fire had it good and then fucked it all up, and it's buzzy in my headphones. We're figuring it out. But we're still going, dude, because we don't stop, dude. We don't stop this fucking podcast we don't stop it we've never stopped it we've stopped it once but um we stopped it once and then we had to re- re- we had to redo-, redo it because i thought that it was so bad for the first 12 minutes but that was only one time and that was like fucking episode 30 or some shit um i will be in santa barbara riverside california san diego foxwoods uh bethlehem pennsylvania rochester new york detroit michigan and then I'm shooting my special in Minneapolis, my babies. That's how we're doing it. There's no more buzzing in the headphones. One fire fix- fixed it. He fixed it. Yay! He fixed it. I'm going to be in Tampa, too. And Melbourne, Florida. Um, so get your tickets at crystalia.com. So get your tickets at crystalia.com. www.crystalia.com. You go over to the tour, or to the, uh, and you go check out where he's coming, coming to the place near you. Uh, you also can check out favorite, latest favorite videos at crystalia.com. And also miscellaneous. There's a miscellaneous section that Chris Lee himself has absolutely never clicked. Uh, and then there's a podcast section there. You can always listen to the podcast there. So, and you can go pick up your merch. But uh, here we are at crystalia.com. Um, no, www. Uh, so yeah, and, um, I don't know, you know, what did I do this week? So I was in Santa, Santa, said Santa Barbara meant to say New Mexico. I was in New Mexico. I had one day off. The day offs in Albuquerque are so terrible. Do you know why? Yes, you do. Because they're boring. Um, I'd rather work than do nothing in Albuquerque. That's how fucked up it is, brown. I'd rather work. I'd rather be a hundred and ten degrees and sweating and wearing my flight suit and all the fucking ammo and guns than literally have a day off brown because it's a boring. I'm a cookie is boring. (laughs) Dude, whatever. You know? Um... Did shows. So I got home, flew back, bought a flight, then asked them if I could go back. Because that's how I do it, dude. I'm into the secret, man. I'm into that thing, the thing, the secret. You visualize it, you see it, and it happens. Now, did I visualize a lot of fucking ice cream in my belly last night? Apparently. Because I ate so much ice cream and Pringles. Yay! He's going to get cancer! Dude, I ate Pringles and popcorn. The whole time I was doing that, I was thinking, I'm doing this instead of the ice cream. And then, lo and behold, couldn't stop myself. So I went to the fridge, and I got the fucking chocolate brownie ice cream from Ben and Jerry's Brown. Is Ben and Jerry fat? Probably. Have no idea. But they gotta be. (laughs) So, ate the Ben and Jerry's, ate the Pringles. Dude, remember that thing... Once you pop, you can't stop. Or what, 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 what was the chip that was like, bet you can't eat just one? Was that Pringles or Doritos? Bet you can't eat just one. Whatever it was, there was a chip company that did that in the 90s, and that was smart as fuck. Because you can't, dude. Imagine eating one chip. What are you, a fuck? That's how you find out if somebody's a communist or not. Or a fucking robot. Lay's, dude. That's what it was. Even as a kid, when I heard the name Lay's, I thought about fucking, I got problems. Yeah, dude. Lay's potato chips. Once you pop, you can't stop. 1983. Commercials in 1983 were so fucked up. Um, but yeah, so you'd eat one, and then you'd be like, where's the other? Look at on my app, someone saying, I'm a relatively new baby and always listen to this on the speaker. So for a while, I thought you were saying, uh, 
Cash app, fastest way to send money to France. What am I saying? Oh, to friends. Yeah, I have a way of speaking that's different. Did you turn me up in the headphones or something? He changed it, and it made it way fucking worse. Don't fucking change it. Yes, dude, I love when when fucking... <laughs> I love when shit gets fucked up, dude. It was fine. Hi, hi, hi. It was fine, dude. Just like I said. So I'm wearing all, all white, dude, because it's Sunday. It's my Sunday shit. And it's Sunday, dude, and I have on fucking... What do you call them? Slides and socks because I'm fucking Persian. That's why, dude. Did you know that? That's what Persians do, dude. They wear socks and fucking slides because they got to be like, I don't really give a fuck, but also the slides I have are very cool. So, but also I'm relaxing. Um... So yeah, uh, it's all good, dude. I'm just chilling, and and this is this is how it is. So I was in a fucking Albuquerque. It was a day a, a day off. It was boring as fuck. Chilled, worked out. Uh, then shot a scene the next day, and then it got wrapped early, and then flew the fuck home. I was on the plane. Didn't even get in first class. Just got the last seat that I could get, and fucking saw the same flight attendant that I did. And now I'm starting to see all these fucking people over and over again. And she was like, back again? And I said, yup. She said, in Albuquerque? I said, yeah, man, I'm here for a bit. I'll be seeing you a lot. She was a tall drink of water, man. If you're a tall flight attendant, you're probably going to get scoliosis. You know what I'm talking about? Because you got to fucking hunch over. That's why flight attendants are so, you know, even the guys. You've never seen a tall guy flight attendant. They're always real, real short. And gay. Why is it a gay thing to be in the air? The higher you get, it's a gay job. It's weird how it's like a a, a gay job to to uh, for a guy. Why, why is that? How come there's some jobs that are just like like if you're a guy and you do it, it's usually uh, a gay thing. I don't know what it is about being thirty thousand feet in the air that makes you want to fuck dudes. Maybe it's maybe that's maybe it's that's the thing. Maybe maybe you're not gay and then you're like just so in the air a lot that you're just like, oh man, the air's thin. Gotta suck a dick. Um, man, what if fucking for real, uh, Chris Cuomo just said that on CNN, what I just said, he'd be done. He'd be done. That's why being a comedian is the shit. Yes. Chris Cuomo, if Chris Cuomo was like, so we're here with a guy, you know, talking about liberal stuff and he's a, he's a, uh, he's a flight attendant. Is that right? Yeah. So how come that's a gay job and you suck dicks, uh, if you're a flight attendant? canceled dude but i'm a comedian and you can't get me yes um so yeah so i fucking uh i'm chilling i and then i got home and i did a show and i did another show and i did another show and i did another show i did four shows and i stacked them my babies i stacked them like pussies i don't not, not that I, what i do it i mean what what that what that girl riley reed would do because remember, she put the thing out that said stacking pussies. If you haven't heard the episode, I'm not a perv. I'm not saying I stack them like pussies like I stack pussies. You stack them pussies like the porn star who tweeted the thing about stacking pussies. And if you haven't seen it, so sue me. All right? That's your ass. All right? Hot. Also, everyone stop DMing me the fucking stupid meme where everyone says my hands are tied now and it's got a, a girl with tied on her hands. That is simply not funny to me. Ever. Okay? So, um... There's a bunch of shit right now that's just not funny online. The Chad and Brad thing? See ya. I'll do a beauty queen wave on that. Bye-bye, dude. Let me drive by five miles an hour. I'm in a goddamn parade waving at that Brad and Chad thing. It's gone, dude. Beautiful as shit with a glove to my fucking elbow. Bye-bye. I don't want to fucking... There's shit... That um, that they do that all of a sudden catches on like wildfire that is immediately not funny as it is funny. Boom, boom. That's it. Stop. Stop with the shit. With the jump on shit. You know? Um, the Brad and Chad thing, it's just so lame. Where they see white guys and they're just like, all right, Brad and Chad, woo! I saw a thing on Barstool Sports on the Instagram. 
um, where where they did the fucking where where the guys were in a boat and these guys and these fucking five white guys were doing like silly dancing to these girls and they're fucking girls. There were so many girls in the boat and there was a guy that was like, "All right, Brad and Chad, woo!" Like making fun of the guys on the boat with all the girls. Man, hey, dude, you're the fucking dork doing the unoriginal joke from a boat away, wishing you were on that fucking boat with all the girls. Seems like Brad and Chad's winning. Fuck that, dude. I, I'd rather be the fucking Brad and Chad than the guy calling the guy Brad and Chad. It's so lame, dude. People just jump on this shit. I got a fucking white glove down to my elbow, and I'm in the back of a fucking 1960s convertible, and I'm doing a beauty wave, dude. <laughs> I'm a beauty queen. I'm the Rose Bowl queen on you, man. I I don't like when people just all of a sudden jump to the thing. Nope, bye. See ya. You know what else is like that? White Claw. Yay! See ya. I don't give a shit. It was funny for fucking three minutes. And now everyone's like, White Claw, that's the drink of the... Dude. All right. It's the new Zima or whatever. People are jumping on board with this club soda shit, man. It's crazy how companies can push that shit, and then it's just so on. I've been, dr- I've been drinking fucking club soda for nine years, my babies. Not that I like it at first, no. Why? Because it tastes like absolutely nothing with bubbles. Yeah, it does. And why did I start drinking it? Because I stopped drinking Diet Coke. And why did I stop drinking Diet Coke? Because I was drinking too much of it? Yes. Was it ever good? No. Because Diet Soda, it fucking sucks donkey balls. And I started drinking it because I didn't want to be fat, though. Is that right? Yes. And why? Because I was drinking five Cokes a day? Yes. Because Coke, non-diet, is good? Yeah. But what happened? Why did I stop drinking Coke? Because I didn't want to get fat and cancer? No. Because one time I lifted up my shirt as a joke from my mom and she said, Chrissy gained weight. And I said, no, I didn't. And she said, yeah, I have a scale. Go look at it. And I jumped on it and I was 20 pounds heavier. Yeah. And did I almost faint? Yeah. And did I stop drinking Coke then? Yeah. And then I started drinking Diet Coke. Drank White Claw by mistake. Thought it was fucking club soda. There's too many club sodas out there. I don't drink, dude. You guys know that I don't drink. I didn't ever drink. And I drank about fucking three or four sips of White Claw. And I was like, man, this is fucking a weird drink. <laughs> dude, I don't drink alcohol. And I was just like, this is a weird drink. And I kept drinking it. And I was like, does this have alcohol in it? And I looked, and it does. Who's the guy drinking fucking alcohol? Who's the guy, who's the guy drinking White Claw? I didn't even know it. Man. Who's the guy drinking? Man, Backstreet Boys made some hits, huh? Oh, whatever. It's the same. One Fire came through with the NSYNC. I should know, you know? Because I'm fucking ultimate friends with the Backstreet Boys, dude. I could call up fucking AJ right now, dude. Literally. I won't. Because he's got his own life. But I could call Nick Carter now, dude. Nick Carter invited me to his show. And I said, yeah, I'll come. Just text me. And he fucking didn't. But we have each other's number. (laughs) He was going to play a fucking small get together at like the London Hotel. And I was going to go if he texted me. And he didn't. And it's fine. Because I, you know, kind of that meant that I had plans and then I had to fucking couldn't back out of it. So I didn't text him. Because it was on him. And it's fine, dude. But we're buds. And that's Hollywood, man. That's fucking straight up Hollywood. That's how we do it in Hollywood, for real. Yeah, yeah, I'll call you. Oh, great. And you know immediately that person's not going to call. That's how it's got to be, though. There's too many fucking plans, you know. If you go to the mid, if you go in the middle, if you go to east, if you go to like, they start making plans and you keep those motherfuckers. Once you're not around water, you stick to the script. You know, say like Denver, Denver, probably they're so high, but like Utah. Oh, bro. They got 
they got an itinerary. You go there and they're like, these are the plans. And you're like, oh, check the ones you want. And they're like, we're holding you to it. If not, then, you know. I don't really know what I'm saying. Bro. What is this? That's gross that that's there. There's a little fucking shot glass of milk here. Cool. Yes, that's been there and been curdling. Yes, dude. Fuck yes, dude. Mm. It's been there and curdling for weeks. Fuck yes, dude. All right, it was today, but whatever, dude. It's I bet I bet we left shit here for a long time before, okay? Um yeah, so, uh, what was I saying? So people are jumping on that fucking soda water thing. I've been drinking it for fucking nine years, which isn't long enough, by the way. I like to, you know the people who are like, I like the band before you did. I'm trying to do that with with Club Soda, but I can't, dude, because it's only been nine years. You get my, my, my dad, bro? My dad's been drinking LaCroix? He had it in his bottle. Not LaCroix, but like club soda. My dad would drink club soda, and as a kid, I would be like, why do you drink that? That doesn't, t- why do you drink that? It doesn't, t- it doesn't taste like anything. And he's like, well, I, you know, I like it because I don't like soda. And I'd be like, why didn't you just drink water then? And he'll be like, well, because I like the bubbles. And I say, yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Um, so... I don't know what else to say, man. But by the way, is that is the air conditioning fucking it? Is it too? No, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> There's a thing in a fucking uh, Sweden I saw. Where is it? I I thought I had it here. <laughs> Dude, this is funny, man. Seaside towns high tech anti sex toilets will spray users with water. Not gonna stop them. What if you have the, what if that's your kink? Oh dude, you're gonna get hey, getting sprayed is part of sex. Uh nah, but there's this I don't know, loose in Porth Call. I mean loose in Porth Call, South Wales, all made up. Where are you from? Loose. Oh, in Porth Call? Yeah, South Wales. Hey. Made it all up. It will feature weight sensors and sound alarms to stop antisocial use. Dude, this is so weird to me that this is where we're at. This is on The Guardian. The Welsh seaside town of Porthcall is planning to install anti-sex public toilets that would spray occupants with water and sound an alarm. All right, so look. First of all, how much fucking is going on in these in the in these toilets? Okay, like is it just is it just all day? Because then, okay, if it's not all day, then just who really cares, you know? Consensual sex in bathrooms, okay. Violent movement sensors would automatically open the doors. Oh, a kinky. I mean, dude, they want to see it. Violent movement sensors would automatically open the doors and sound high-pitch alarms with fine water jets soaking the interior. The sexiest thing ever. So all of a sudden, you're fucking, and it's going to go, and it's going to go, the fucking doors are going to open, and then you're going to get fucking doused with water, and you're going to be wet fucking, ah, sexy. The government has a kink. I mean, dude. South Wales? What is that? Welsh? Oh, so sexy there. Not going to stop them. Dude, I'm running to that fucking thing. I want to fuck, and you're going to have people watch and spray me with water? Okay? Fuck that, dude. When the shit goes boop, and the doors open, and I get fucking doused with water, I'm going fucking... Ah, I'm amping it up, dude. I'm amping it up, my babies. For real. You think I won't? Fuck that, dude. A hundred percent while the shit goes down. And I'm in there with a fucking dude. Fucking the dude and just... I don't give a shit, dude. Oh, here it comes. Blast! Are you kidding me? Boop! 
Oh no, here comes the water. Oh, what? what's going on over there? I'm, what's going on over there? Uh oh, here we go. Blast! All over fucking whatever their names are. All over fucking Christian. That's the only guy I know that's Welsh is Christian Bale. For real, dude. Are you kidding me, bro? That's it. Why can't I move the thing? Can't move it. Great. Yes. Can't move it. Can't move the fucking soundboard thing. Why is it happening? Can't move the soundboard thing. It's up there, and I can't move it. Technology, dude. S- sand it over to fucking Juan Fire, babies. Yeah, dude, that's ridiculous. Why would you want to be... I mean, all, how much fucking is going on in, in, in Welshland? In Welshland? How much fucking is going on over there in bathrooms? Here's the other thing, do. Here's the other thing, too. Not here's the other thing too, so, spending so much money on this. Alarms doused with water, weight sensors, bro. You know how much a weight sensor is? I swear to God, they're a hundred grand. I have that on full authority. That weight sensors are a hundred grand. Look at this. Porth Call Town Council is spending. Oh, here we go. One hundred and seventy euro thousand dollars or whatever the fuck it is. That little. E with the curvy thing at the top. Go, you know what I mean? What is that? That's probably around the same American. In Griffin Park, according to Wales Online, the planning documents detail a range of security features to deter rough sleeping. Uh, you mean fucking R- rough sleeping, dude? So they didn't want to fucking admit it. Oh, so they didn't want to admit that they're pervy. Yes, hello, we are Welsh. We are planning documents to detail a range of security features to deter rough sleeping, I swear to God. <laughs> Including an audible warning combined with lights and heating being switched off. With lights and heating being switched off. I wanted to fuck, but I'm freezing. All toilets would be fitted. All toilets would be fitted with a full high pressure floor and wall washer, which could be operated after every use. Jesus Christ, you know? So much. This is how you know nothing's wrong and in, in fucking. Where is Welsh shit? Wales. This is how you know nothing's wrong in Wales. In America, we're like, everyone's dying and getting shot. And in Wales, they're like, ah, let's put weight sensors in our fucking public restrooms because we don't want people to be having too good of a time. Uh. I'm moving to Wales, dude, and fucking in, where is this? Porth Call, in Griffin Park, dude. I'm going there. Bro, fuck that. That's a red light. What, what if you went in there and it was all like like red lit and shit and it was like so nice and they had paintings on the wall that were like, you're like, no, this is kind of the shit. They're trying to trap you, dude. They want you to fuck but also want money out of it. All toilets will be fitted with a full high pressure floor and wall washer that could be operated after every use or after a certain number of users per day. Each night the toilets would close for 10 minutes while the unit undertakes a deep clean. Wow. This is some weird RoboCop shit. Visitors will have to pay to use the toilets. What? What? Why would you have to pay to take a shit? Hey, oh man, if I was going to a place and you had to pay to take a shit, guess what I'm doing? Shitting outside of it. Right there, bro. I'll shit close to where you pay. You think I won't shit close to where you pay? That's the real shit, for real. You're going to make me pay to shit? Where's the doorway, dude? Here we go. I ain't got no motherfucker. So I fucked your bitch. Oh, what's he doing? Bro, you're not charging me to take dumps. Oh, what's he doing? Bro, that guy's crazy. What the fuck? Oh, is he shitting outside the door? Why? Because they were all. Oh, because they wanted me to pay for it. God damn, he knows the rules, doesn't he? God damn, he lives a sound life. God damn, he's got a code like Dexter. Piss is coming out anyway. You're not going to make me pay for it. Um, 
However, Twitter users have questions how the systems, in particular the weight-sensitive floors, would work in practice. One said, w- just the fact that anyone would tweet about this. One said, weight-sensitive floors to detect more than one user? What baseline weight are they using? I'm easily the weight of two teenagers, and what about people who need assistance? I have to go in with my kids. Oh, man. Imagine you walk in with your two kids that need to take a shit, and all of a sudden they fucking douse you with water. An alarm goes off, and the doors open. And then they think you're a pedophile, by the way. Oh, he went in with kids. He's trying to fuck kids. What the fuck? You're just an American in there. I was on vacation in Griffith, Griffin Park. I don't know what's happening, dude. What the fuck is happening? Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah, you need to take a shit. Oh, let's all go in together because I don't, I don't trust anybody. We all got to get in together. And, my, and this is a family and everything. Uh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the fuck is going on? Oh, no. Wait. What the fuck? Ah, come on, kids. Here we go. Oh, no. Blast! Another added, there are obvious serious questions about weight sensors with potential for cruel humiliation of facility users. As a robot! I am concerned with one thing. There are obvious, serious questions about weight sensors. The potential for cruel humiliation of facility users. I would like to take a shit. I weigh in excess of 310 pounds. Uh oh. Oh, my circuitry. No water. Why would you listen to this podcast, dude? There's NPR. <laughs> Talking about robots fucking in whales and getting blasted. The It's an escape from reality, dude. That's why. Back to reality. Whoops, go gravity. Whoops, go gravity. Whoops, go gravity. Um, whoops, go gravity. Whoops, go gravity. The existing facilities are due to close in October, while the demolition and construction of new built of the new building takes place. Dude, amazing! So go take a shit in Wales. Um, are we doing two breaks? Okay. Express VPN. <clears throat> Internet privacy is basically dead. You can't even go to the bathroom anymore with them opening the doors and sounding the alarm in Wales. But look at porn, for instance. Did you know that UK, the government in UK, passed a law requiring you to hand over your ID before you can access porn sites? Um, okay. That's right, like your driver's license or a passport. Um, yeah, okay. It's only a matter of time before your government gets the same idea. Yeah, no kidding. Hello, America. And what happens when your favorite porn site gets hacked like Ashley Madison did? Uh Uh-oh. All those names and IDs will be floating around waiting to get published on the web, and then you're screwed. That's why I protect my internet usage with ExpressVPN. Accessing the internet with ExpressVPN means the websites you visit won't know where you're coming from, shielding your identity. ExpressVPN uh, is the best way to make sure your online activity is anonymous, and it's the VPN provi- provider that I trust to protect my data. Okay? Num Crystalia. For less than $7 a month, you can get the same ExpressVPN protection that I have. Because you're probably like, oh, it probably costs $40,000. No, $7. Uh, there's a, if you, uh, uh, it comes with a 30 day uh, money back guarantee. It's time to stop big brother and surveillance of your online activity. Protect yourself today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash congrats. That's E X P R E S S V P N.com slash congrats for three months free with a one year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash congrats to learn more. Farmer's dog. I use it for my doggies because I want to keep them healthy and lean. Dog food companies love using fancy recipe names and colorful pictures of real meat and veggies on their bag, but it seems no matter what the brand or the price or the ingredients on the label, all you find inside are unidentified dried out, unidentifiable dried out brown nugs, dude. And by that I mean nuggets. Why do we accept this as food, let alone as healthy food? For living beings as awesome as dogs. You ever seen a dog, dude? They're so cute, man. Why do you want to you want to keep them healthy, man? What kind of beef or carrot sits on a shelf for months or years? That's not what this farmer's dog does. The company that helps dogs live longer 
healthier lives by making it easy and convenient to feed them fresh food. I use it. My dogs love it. They scarf it up, man. Meals have pre-portioned, easy-to-serve packs, and because they're delivered by subscription, you'll always have food on hand. Look, Clever Marketing has convinced pet owners to equate unhealthy and highly processed kibble with food, but unlike kibble, the farmer's dog actually looks and smells like real food because it's real food. That's why. It's because it's real food. Start feeding your dog better today. Get 50% off your two-week trial of fresh, healthy food at thefarmersdog.com slash congrats. Plus, you get free shipping. What? Just go to thefarmersdog.com slash congrats to get 50% off your two-week trial. That's thefarmersdog.com slash congrats. Blast! They're killing it in Wales. Ba-da-ba-ba-ya, they're killing it in Wales. Looking at my phone because I'm being respectful to you guys. Because I'm not disrespectful because I'm being me. And the most respectful thing you can do is exactly what you want at any given time, especially around other people because you're gifting them you. <laughs> That's why my mom thinks I'm a... I'm a jerk because I do that, but I live for a different set of rules. And that's fucking bad in things like relationships. Not just with the girl, but with people. But it's all good. Dude, we have a fucking new zoomed in look on the fucking video. And it's fucking awesome, dude. It's something that I thought about for a little bit, and now I did it, and... It's cool, man. I look manly in it. How about that, dude? I'm flexing because I'm respectful. Whoa, dude. Is that a tree trunk? Um. Anyway, what else was I going to say? I was going to say something. I don't mumbo. I don't mumbo. You guys do baby voice with your significant others? I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I had one girl, I that's all I did. It, I, we didn't even talk regular. All we did was baby voice, and it was because we hated each other. We only liked the young versions of ourselves. We ran away, away to fucking baby town, and we chilled. And we were, it feels good, you know? It's very uh, cute and um, sweet to do baby t- talk with someone. But then there was one girl I had that was like, Yo, you don't do baby voice with me. You understand me? And I was like, oh, okay. And we never did it once. And that was okay, too. But we were we were grown adults, you know. I wanted to talk about something. I can't remember what it is now. Um, Bro, when I was in... When I was... In my early twenties, I would go to this place, Bob's Big Boy. They got they had really good burgers, and I almost I probably ate one every night for the fucking whole for a year. When I wasn't really concerned about my health, I was like twenty two, still looked like a fucking, you know. They people would be like, "What's going on? Is that one of the fucking? Is that a Velociraptor?" Just because of how my fucking body looked, not a good thing. Um. So and. Uh, and I would and I would eat burgers just all the time. And I would go to Bob's Big Boy. And I would go. And there was this guy named, shit, what was his name? Utai. U-T-A-I. That was his name. Where was he from? Mars. Where's that name from? You got me, baby. Never heard the name before in my life. Had hair like a Lego guy. Like had hair like it was a fucking Spartan hat. His hair had more hairs per capita than Neil deGrasse Tyson. Billions and billions of particles, billions of follicles in my hair, in my head, started billions and billions of years ago. And he had an Utai, where's it from? Looked like he could be from, for real, Mexico, Hawaii, or Japan. Where was he from, Utai? Um, and so I really liked going to Bob's Big Boy, man. I started to know everybody there. There was a waitress named Denise. There was a guy named Kevin. Kevin always looked like an 80s action movie star. I liked Kevin a lot. He'd be like, hey, what's going on, man? And we'd just chat and shit. He'd be like, you want the burger? And I'm like, of course I'm here, aren't I? 
But every time I got Utai, he would come up and never said anything. I swear to God, but this. Skip. That's what he would say. He'd come up, he'd say, Skip. And I'd say, okay, um, yeah, I'll get the burger. And he'd write it down, and I'd say, thanks. And he'd say, Skip. Skip, dude. E-S-C-I-B. And anytime I would bring a new person there, I'd be like, oh, Udai's here. Watch. He's going to say a skib. And they'd be like, what? What the fuck is a skib? I'd say, you fucking just sit back and relax. He'd come up. A skib. What do you want? Oh, I'll get the salad. A skib. And one time, one night, I realized what he was saying. And I remember thinking, oh, that's what he's saying. And a week later, I forgot what I realized it was, and I have never been able to fucking remember it again. And I'm so fucking pissed that I don't remember what I figured out a skib was. I think about it every now and then. You never know when some shit like that's going to hit in life, man. Write this shit down. A skib. What the fuck is a skib, Udai? A skip. What could it mean? A skip. It's not. Uh, it was, maybe he was trying to say something. It's good, but it wasn't. A, it wasn't it. It wasn't that. It's good. It was a skib, dude. I'd watch his fucking mouth. I'd watch his mouth do the esk and the b at the end. Never gave a fuck about me at all. Denise was uh, sweet. Um, and uh, and then I went back years later. And the fucking, I was like, hey, how's Kevin been? And he fucking, I think he died. I was like, what? Like, yeah, he died. Sad, man. He was just like a young guy. I wonder if Udai is still there. Let me look up Udai. Bob's big boy. Burbank. Bob's big boy. Boy. What if he just had like fucking 50,000 followers on Instagram? It was fucking a skib on his fucking his Instagram handle is a skib. And he's just like living that a skib life. And he's just like this. Just still don't know where he is because he's in different places. He's just he's just fucking other guys in whales bathrooms, and it's just like, oh no, he just went on family. Oh no, fucking skip. He goes into the fucking thing. Oh no, boop. Oh no, just fucking skip. Blasting, hair all wet but still puffy because he's got so much. Hair all wet, but still puffy because he got so much. Remember how Jay-Z fucking did the... Yeah, Travis Scott shouldn't play in the Super Bowl because they don't stand with Cap. What? The NFL wants me to be oversee what they're doing with, the, with football? I'll sign it as long as I can make money. Uh, that's what people think he's doing. I don't know if that's what he's doing or not. Um, but people are up in arms. Is Bob's big boy? I looked up Udai. Udai images for Udai Bob's big boy. You know. Let's go to images. Nope. I can't believe I remember his name, but not if Kevin actually died. <laughs> Look, what the fuck is wrong with my brain? That I remember some guy saying a skib and his fucking name was Udai. But I can't actually remember if the guy I liked the most there died. What the fuck, dude? Dude, there was a, a TMZ thing that somebody tweeted me. It was like, they were like, oh, well, this is funny or something. And I watched it. Bro, I have zero recollection of it. I'm 39. I mean, I'm not even close to 40, dude. I have zero idea about a TMZ guy coming up to me and asking me about some shit. 
And then a homeless guy came up to me and did a, did a joke. I don't remember. It could be a deep fake for all I know. I don't want to upgrade the fucking thing, dude. Mac, you know? Oh, I got to do the second ads. Um, I'll do it right now. My bookie. It's a new season. Antonio Brown is on the Raiders. Levon Bell is with the Jets. Odell Beckham is in Cleveland. The one thing that hasn't changed, where I'm putting my money down on all the games. My bookie is the place to bet on football every weekend. My bookie has better bonuses and more prop bets than any other sports book period this year they're hosting the first online handicapping super contest first place is guaranteed to win at least one hundred thousand dollars and it only costs one hundred dollars to enter hum hello no brainer are you there yeah yeah right here all you got to do is pick five nfl games against the spread every week to climb the leaderboard and score your share of the huge cash prize pool that's why my bookie is always the right play you bet you win they pay my bookie has live in-game betting on every NFL game. What more could you ask for? They've got the most rewarding player perks in the business, and for your fantasy, and for you fantasy guys out there, you can even bet the over/under on how many fantasy points a player will score each game. Just a lot of stuff you can bet on. Up to one thousand dollars first deposit bonus. Double uh, your first deposit. Use promo code Congrats to activate the offer. Visit MyBookie online today. That's M-Y-B-O-O-K-I-E. And don't forget to use the promo code CONGRATS. C-O-N-G-R-A-T-S. And when creating your account to acclaim the bonuses, the bonus. Uh, bet, win, get paid. GOAT. Love GOAT. They really came up, man. They really did. I've used a bunch of these sneaker apps to do it, and GOAT is just the best. Yeezys, Jordans, Off-Whites. If you're going to buy sneakers... Uh, for a few hundred dollars how can you make sure that the real thing you don't want these fakes on your feet man people will see it and then realize it and then take a picture of it and put it online and laugh at you goat.com is the safest way to end that and they, they, it's the safest way to buy and sell authentic sneakers online uh, they're the largest marketplace in the world for authentic Yeezys, Jordans and over 600,000 sneaker listings they've made the whole process frictionless and trustworthy they only accept sellers with the best reputation, and they verify the sneakers to ensure their authenticity, everything from the laces to the soles and in between, uh, stitching, all that. Uh, they certify every pair of sneakers. Over half a million users on the platform. Come on, 10 million users? Over, wait, with over half a million sneakers on the platform and 10 million users, bro? Be one of those. You won't find better prices verified 100%. Authentic sneakers anywhere else. Uh, find the per- perfect 100% authentic sneaker at goat.com slash congrats. That's goat.com slash congrats. Plus, you'll also be supporting our show. But you got to go right now before the sneakers you want are gone. When you go to goat.com slash congrats, spelled G-O-A-T dot com slash congrats. Cash App. Congratulations is brought to you by the Cash App, the official app of the Log Cabin. Um, Yeah. I'm watching this, or I'm listening to this podcast called 22 Hours because it was recommended to me because it's about true crime stuff. It's about this house that burnt down, and uh, they found people in it, and they found that they found out that it was um, a murder. It was a fucking like quadruple homicide or something. It was like a kid there, and like a so sad. But for five episodes, it just seemed like okay, the guy did it. Why are we listening to this podcast? And then on the sixth episode, dude, they changed the whole deal. I was like, what? I'm in. But five minutes in, it's funny, dude, what it takes to, with the voice, like the voices that they use, like the person that they use has so much to do with it. And the music has so much to do with it. Like five minutes in, I was hooked on the first episode. It was just like, a family was in the thing, and blah, blah, and blah, blah. And I'm like, wait a second. A family was in the thing? Oh, my God. And the house was burned down, and, and then they got the music. Beep, boom, boom, beep, boom, boop, 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 boop. And you're like, okay, well, hold on a second. The family. Sorry, wait, the family was in, in the thing? And I'm just on the plane, and some fat guy's next to me using my armrest. And all of a sudden, I don't care anymore. I'm like, oh, yeah, he's using my armrest, but the family was in the thing? Hold on a second. Yeah, man, it's good. It's called 22 Hours. 
I guess check it out if you like that stuff. That true crime stuff's all the rage, man. People love listening to podcasts like this. Rewind it. Hit it back. Rewind it. You talked to me. That's me. When I'm listening to a podcast and somebody says something. Hold on. Rewind it. You talked to me. I can't text and listen to podcasts, too. I don't know what the fuck's going on immediately. As soon as I pick up, a, a, it says somebody texts me. Whoop, you got a text and I'm listening. I text back. I'm gone. I got to start the whole podcast over. That's how dumb I am. Um, but dude, all right, look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about this because it's been in my notes for literally five months. It's called, I, I wrote down the deserve it scale. All right. And one fire is always like, what the fuck is the deserve it scale? And it's been on the notes and we laugh because it's so dumb. The deserve it scale made about as much sense to him as a skib. All right. The deserve it scale is, is, I think we might have maybe touched on this in a podcast before, but a video online of a guy falling, just a guy falling and he doesn't deserve it, is not as, I mean, it can be funny. There's always exceptions. But the deserve it scale is what makes it funny to me, okay? If a guy's twirling plates on a fucking basketball and falls down, his deserve it scale is off the charts. And I'm fucking laughing harder because he's a fucking idiot. You understand? I know he's going to fall and he doesn't. There was a video of a kid on top of a, fruit of a of a cupboard. This is a long time ago in um on America's funniest home videos, you know, back when the internet wasn't a thing. And this kid was on the top of the cupboard and he was going to scare he set up the camera, he was going to scare his family and it was just going to be great, right? Set up the whole thing, the kid goes rar and slips, his pants catch on the top of the cupboard. And he falls down, and his ass crack is facing the camera. Now, that deserve it scales off the charts because he set it all up, stood on the cupboard, and waited for his dad. So it was so funny, dude. Here's another good one, man. One time, there was a guy skiing down a mountain. Bro, I lost my shit at this, okay? And he was skiing down a mountain, and the guy was at the bottom of the fucking slope filming it. It was like, okay, here he comes. Like, so I'm so far away. The guy was just shh, 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 doing the fucking bitch-ass shit that skiers do. Shh, shh, shh. You're a super bitch if you're skiing, you know? And he gets close to the guy with the camera. And the guy with the camera, you can just sense, you know? There was just like a sense that he had where he was like, "Uh uh-oh, some shit's about to go down. And the guy... Go, the guy skiing says, oh, sorry, Chris, and then smashes into the guy with the camera. Oh, uh, because he said sorry before I pissed. Bro, if you know you're going to fuck up, can't stop and apologize beforehand, the deserve it scale so high. First of all, don't even fucking shoot it. Just let the guy live life. The best deserve it scale, though, I ever saw was at a wedding. This was the f- funniest home videos. I've looked this video up forever online. There was a wedding going on, and the I guess it was the groom that on the indoors wedding in a gymnasium or wherever the fuck this thing was, he gets on... The motorcycle that was there for some reason. Okay. Now, the deserve it scale, dude, is at Mach 10. All right. This guy's on a, first of all, motorcycle in a gymnasium. That's not it. At a wedding. That's not it. At his wedding. All right. 
the deserve it scale. I mean, if there was a weight sensor, it would be uh oh. Okay. Now this guy revs it, and he is just—he seems dope as fuck. Okay. Because he had on, I remember he had on like a, a, a not a traditional thing. He had on like a cool thing because he wanted to look cool on the motorcycle thing. And and he went to take off, and he goes, rum, 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 and obviously didn't know how to ride a motorcycle that well because he didn't let go of the handle. <laughs> And the fucking motorcycle kept going, and he was doing like the woo 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 and he tried to stand up off of it because it got to him. And the motorcycle went into all the decorations and took out all the decorations and ruined the wedding, dude. And I cried. The deserve it scale was fucking Mach 10. And I think that's when I created the deserve it scale when I was a kid. Anyway, what I want you to do, because I love deserve it scale videos... Send your favorite deserve it scale videos, okay? Now, you know, there's different levels. Like the skiing one wasn't so high, but the motorcycle at the wedding one was just off the charts, right? You ever see the grape smash one where the girl's like, okay, and go, and they're on a level up, and they're smashing the grapes, and it's a fucking, you know, middle-aged woman that's like portly, and she's like, go, 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 and then she falls off of the fucking level thing, and then she's like, oh, oh, oh. You remember that video? Did you ever see it fire on fire? You've seen it. Oh, man, let's watch that one. That one is such a high deserve it scale. Oh, man, when I would watch this on E-Bombs World when I was fucking 12, smashing fail. She's so out of breath. Grape Lady Falls, original. So sad to be, to be the grape, grape lady. What kind of grapes? These are filled with Chamberson grapes, and the winner this Saturday, who's stopped music, eating international... Best thing is, they both they both have fucking zero clue that this shit's about to go down. And my favorite thing about it is, I know it's going to go down. That's the best, because otherwise, why would it even be on the internet? When Dude, I used to love America's Home videos, because they would fucking show the video, and you knew, you were smarter than the fucking idiot on the vet camera. You knew some shit was going to go down? And they had no idea. And I would just sit there giddy with an... Just fucking, oh, I can't fucking wait for this guy to fall. And they would fall and I would... The shit would just be an uber sensation. Having here they are. So here they are. Dinner this Saturday, who's stopped music, eating international foods, having wine tours and tasting, vineyard tours. They're on a fucking platform that's like... I mean, it's like three and a half feet up. What a bad... Fucking idea, dude. And why are they wearing the same thing? Because they work for the place. And it's so sad. The whole thing. Here we go. Seminars, arts and crafts. Oh, I remember what happens, too, before we've been watching. She stops, and they're like, okay, stop. And then this is what made it extra funny. She was like, wait, 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 a little bit more. And that's when she falls. It's a lot of fun. A whole day. Stop. Oh, 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 oh
She's in so much pain that she just lets a little bit of sound out and it just turns into, oh, 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 oh. she can't take a breath in, bro. That's so funny. I feel bad. But she's probably okay. That's the best, you know. Here, there's the other thing, too. If you know they've done some permanent damage, then it's not funny anymore because you feel bad. But I think this lady's okay. She's at the top. She's at the top level of I think she's okay. If she went any further, then it's not okay. Like those skateboarding videos where people fall down and break their femurs. I'm not into that. This shit here. Ow, 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 stop, ow, stop, ow. She's saying stop. She doesn't realize what she's saying because there's nothing to be stopped. That's the be- that's also very funny because she's just saying stop because she's like praying to the gods that this should stop, but she can't. Oh, look at these guys. I think she's actually hurt. No, there. I think she is. Yeah, she's Ouch. hurt. She took a hard fall off there. Okay. What? Gosh, I hope she's okay. Okay. Mm. We're going to make sure she is. We'll try and Just check on it. her and get back right. to you as soon as we can. We'll be back mm. right after this. Gee. Oh, man. These buckets are filled. Okay, let's read about her here. I'll go up. Yeah, so, okay. Oh, oh, wow. There's a whole story here. Oh, okay. Melissa Sanders was a reporter for an Atlanta TV station in the late 90s doing a fluff report from a local winery. She participated in an impromptu grape stomping contest when disaster hilariously struck. Memo to parents. If, this is what I was saying. If you really want to show your kids that cheaters never prosper, you might want to consider using this video as visual aid. Exactly. Even though it was a fucking light competition, you stop when you say stop. After being told that time was up, St- Sander kept... By the way, it was her that said the time was up. I mean, look at the way this is written. Sander kept stomping and was quickly bitch slapped by the hand of fate, tumbling over the side, you know? Her walrus like screams while obviously, I mean, who wrote this? While obviously amusing her to her coworkers in the studio. No, they were sad. Seemed to indicate a serious injury. There's somebody in the comment section claiming Sander broke several ribs and almost died. Oh, come on. They think it's funnier that way. They're saying bullshit. Go back up. She was fine. Said she was fine. Click on that. Oh, wait, hold on. And by the way, it was basically her fault because they chose to film facing the side. Yeah, really, without railings. Click on that. No, that. Oh, you got it. Oh, okay. Go back. Yeah, go read down. I want to read down. According to bloggers who've tried to track her down shortly after the incident, Sander left Atlanta for Albany, which we're sure had nothing to do with the fact that the in-studio reports were barely holding back giggles at her pain yodeling. Our bio page is a bio page in Albany. Makes no no mention of a near-death experience due to pierced lung, a pierced lung, which further supports the... I mean, what the fuck is this, you know? I mean, people will just be like, think anything's a conspiracy. She's no longer at the job, pre- dropped off the face of the earth. Let's try to find her, you know? Go up. Go up, click her bio page right there. Oh, there it is. It's probably not up anymore, right? Yeah. It's not there anymore. Well, we wish her all the best here. Congratulations, you know. Um, But the deserve it scale was mighty high on that one. It wasn't quite as big as the fucking motorcycle in the... But man, no railings? If I was working there and that happened while she was falling, I'd be like, I, we knew it. Um, yeah. You want to do some questions? Yeah. Okay. okay. It's got some questions. Oh, I had a grumble. Um, oh, wow. Well. <sighs> a lot of people don't know what sabich means, but ha- this is a good one. Page at legs for days. I guess change it probably because that's, you know. How bitch is it to be the first person scooting in a corner booth at a restaurant? Yeah. Yeah. Because you got to be like, use your fucking palms and scoot. Yeah. It's pretty fucking boot. Bitch. Boot. It's pretty bitch. It's pretty boot. It's pretty bitch. Um, Especially if you're like a fucking white guy that is wearing shorts. You're a fucking major bitch if you do that. White guys have the most bitch fucking... um, what do you call it? Uh, um, well, what's the wow? What's the word? It's a very easy word. Uh, where you can 
what's the word where you can wow i can't even think of how to describe this word but it's a very easy word hold on a guy a second babies if you come through uh oh jesus christ what a brain fuck hold on this has not happened in a long time uh potential jesus jesus they have the most high sabich potential white guys with shorts and blonde hair for sure um okay let's go to another one crystalia would you rather okay megalodon at megan underscore sullivan would you rather ride in this car or fly united she knows i hate united because united fucking sucks they're run by cats. This is a fucking. Oh my! We'll put the picture up. I mean, dude, this truck. First of all, it's neon green with fucking. What are those snake eyes on the back? That are the blinkers. No, it's not Spider Man, but they do have Ghost Rider on the back fucking window. And just these decals on it. Love is lame on the top. K. Sadeeper. Uh, holla for a dollar. Choke hard. Just like, okay, well, not necessarily. Oh, my God, dude. There's the Hello Kitty thing. And instead of the eyes, it has boobs. And it says, Hello Titty. Hey, guy. You're a man because you have your license. What are you doing? I like girls that drink beer. S racist or uh, rapist. My other ride is my sexy girlfriend. S is sexist. I like to spoon, but I love to fork. I mean, dude, you don't, you know, might as well put fuck, right? Because you already put. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Ass. The other vagina. Oh my God, dude. It says real women swallow. Bro. Imagine driving around in this. I love vag. <laughs> Boobies. We stare because we care. Ew. Foreskin holds germs. Just for... Uh, why to get medical? Oh, my God, dude. I hate smelly vag. Just on the back of his car. Oh, and the license plate is Meat Wagon. Meat WGN. Pennsylvania. Real men don't buy girls. I see the short bus is missing a passenger. I mean, this whole thing is the most offensive back of a car ever. Uranus is huge. Okay? not So not funny. Just so not funny. To do the planet thing with the fucking making it like it's an asshole. And then on the upper left of the fucking back truck, back of the truck, it says protected by acid spitting kittens for no reason. No, it's not. And just Ghost Rider on the back, you know? <laughs> just like so offensive and then just Ghost Rider. Hello, Titty, you know? Oh, my God. I like to snatch. I've never heard how bad. The I like to snatch kisses and vice versa. One thing you know about this guy is that he's white. <laughs> I mean, any Asian or black or any. A a Asian guys would look at this car and be like this. And black guys would look at car the car like this. They would have the, the like the like that meme of the. They'd be like, damn, they'd have that look. And Persian guys would watch this car and be like this. Oh, oh, what? You know what I mean? The only person that would be like, <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny, would be like a white guy. You know? Oh, damn. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, and they would call Persians would be like, hey, check this fool out. Look at this. What the fuck, bro? Hey, Nima, what? Oh, Amir, look. What the fuck, bro? It says I like I like girls that drink beer, dog. You can't. Oh shit. Hey, imagine you're driving behind this guy. And you see, watch out the idiot behind me decal on there. You busting him up or what? 
Damn, dude. Ghost Rider. That kills me that Ghost Rider's on it. What? Nut. Nice fart can? Oh, like a butt? Nice fart can, it says. Well, this guy is for sure white and definitely has a beard. There's no way this guy's like a clean cut guy. Well, I love thinking about a Persian guy looking at this car. Oh. Hey, how much would you hey how much? How much would you would would I have to pay you to drive around in that? That's what a Persian guy would say. Um, all right. Next one I get. Would you ride in this car or fly United? I mean, hey, fly United. Would never be in that car, dude. Oh, here's a good one. Roberto, Rob Herrera Jr. LOL, why do you always... Well, he meant to say say, but he didn't left out a word because he's fucking writing too fast. Got real excited. Why do you always say my opener instead of their actual name? Because. Because that's what they deserve, dude. He's got the best job in comedy, man. He goes out there, does some shit, makes fucking thousands of dollars selling his merch, and he fucking... I also don't always say it, but because it's funny, it's a joke, because it's what he deserves. Um, and then after that, he did a follow-up tweet that says, say, Christ. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, that's what I do. That's why I do that, and that's what I do. And that's it. That's it for the episode, my babies. Thank you very much. Um, download the Cash app uh, for free on the App Store or Google Play Market. And you can also, uh, so don't forget to do that. It's better than all the other apps, than all the other ca- uh, apps that you send money on. Also, um, do the uh, get my app, get my app at the, at the app store, and you can download the Crystal the Crystalia app just by writing Crystalia and wherever you get apps. Support the show by buying merch at store.crystalia.com. We got a big uh, stock restock coming soon, and we love we love the support. And uh, rate and review the show on iTunes. That really helps us. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. The YouTube uh, show comes up. A uh, day after the regular one does on the audio. So, got shows in San Jose. Oh, they're all sold out. Uh, Scott. Uh, which ones aren't? San Diego Fox. Uh, San Diego, the one did. Add another one, I think. Foxwoods, Connecticut, Detroit. Detroit, new date added. There's a few tickets left for my taping in Minneapolis, I think. We got two there. Tampa, Detroit, new date added. Yeah. Houston, new date added. El Paso. Uh, you guys rock. Thank you very much. And, uh, That's it. See you, babies.